must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Whoa! Those birds scared me. <laughs> How's it going guys? This is Lucian Sword and I'm super excited because this is episode number 20. And you know what that means. We're gonna do a one hour special for every 10th episode. So this is probably a good thing for this episode in particular because we are traveling to Zora's domain and I kind of want to get that tower along the way if possible. So we have a lot to do. It actually takes a while to get to Zora's Domain. Uh, actually, before we start, let's summon Zamor in here real quick. What? I can't? Wow! It won't let me summon Wolf Link here. That's... That is very unfortunate. Either way, let's make some uh, progress here, shall we? Maybe I can summon him a little bit further ahead. Alright, is there nobody guarding that chest? Another thing, guys. Um, since we're close to the Zora's Domain... Actually, this is going back to where I came from. Why is the chest still there? Didn't I already loot this chest? Oh, yeah, yeah. I did. But I didn't really want it. That's right. Okay, yep. I remember that now. So yeah, since we're in the Zora's Domain, it's part of the uh, story that it's raining constantly and I think you'll find out sooner or later the reason why wait was that a barrel oh no it was there's barrels and logs look at that frog trying to get over the log oh no he, he changed his mind froggy <laughs> um, the divine beast Varuta is very angry right now and because of that Varuta is shooting up water into the sky and that's why it's always raining, non-stop. It's coming from the Divine Beast, and they're worried that it's going to flood the whole Hyrule, actually. Not just this area, but all of Hyrule might get flooded. So... Look at all these mighty carps! So worth, so worth it. I just got like five or six mighty carps. I wasn't counting, but dang. Alright. Like I said, it's going to take us a while to get through this, just because there's so many enemies up ahead, but there's also just a lot of loot. And you guys know I love- Oh, I missed that dragonfly! You guys know I love loot. Who doesn't love loot? Hate those guys. Oh my goodness. So much. Staminoka basses too. Wow, I've never gotten an Octo Balloon. Alright. So many fish in that river, man. Look at how cool the silent shrooms look. Imagine seeing a mushroom that was glowing blue like that. Look at there's even more fish in there. My goodness. That's alright. Ooh. Do you guys think I could hit this rock? Like, up there? Let's try. I do have the perfect thing for this, and now I'm getting pretty good at launching these right after that one shrine. Oh, we hit it! We actually hit him! Alright, let's do another one. This one's for the... The strike. Easy! Oh my goodness. We destroyed that dude. I wonder if that's what those are for. Wow. Oh? Cutscene. It's Sidon. Sorry for calling out to you from the river. Since I pressured you into coming, I was not sure you would really come through. I'm pleased things are going so well. 
Ever since this strange occurrence, there have been a lot of monsters around here. Be careful as you proceed. And hurry, all of my fellow Zora are anxiously awaiting your arrival. Okay, man, I know. I'm, I'm going. I'm, I'm making my way. Just, you know, don't rush me. I gotta do things my way. And that means launching rocks thousands of feet at floating platforms. <laughs> The only downside is I didn't actually get to see what was on his platform. Oh, there he is! Are you gonna fall down the- oh, there it is. He didn't have a chest. Do you know what I should have done, guys? Is I should have went to Hateno Tech Lab and upgraded my stasis rune. That way I could freeze enemies. I forgot about that. Alright, oh well. Um, we also want- I also wanted to get that tower. Man, I, fr I feel like I should go get the tower first, to be honest. Even though we're kind of already, like, up here. Ooh. How did I miss this? Oh, only a rock salt. How close are we to the tower? Let me actually just take a look real quick. Oh, uh, alright. So we're kind of close. This wasn't planned, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna land right here. Look at that. Just taking fish out of the water like nothing. Um, yeah, as much as I do want to go do the Zora thing, Prince Sidon, I will do that, but I feel like I want to get the tower first, just because it's really close. Let's go get the tower. Look at the reflection in the water of the tower. So cool. That's how close we are. You know we're close when the water is reflecting it. Oh no, oh no. We are really close to this tower. I should have went and got the tower uh, at the end of last episode, but I knew I wouldn't have time. Some more crates for us to break, too. Probably nothing in these, though, because I already broke them. No, my sledgehammer is almost dead. Alright, let's see if we can get up over here. Hey, the rain might actually stop. Oh man, I actually have to climb this. One, two, jump. Oh, 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 I hear something. Big boy. I see. Should we take him on? Of course we're going to kill the big guy. Why wouldn't we? This is a, this is a black one, too. He's got, he's got metal on his ankle, not even just wood. Okay. Come on. Thank you. What you got? Soldier's Claymore, Knight's Broadsword, Knight's Bow. Alright. Wow, he touched me once and I died. Good thing I had a fairy. Hi. I'm not scared of you. We will take him on. Watch out for the toes, because they do kill. Right in the butt. Bad boy. Mm. Should we use lightning? Lightning is always fun. I think I just saw a shooting star. I could be wrong. Easy. We take we kill those because of the loot. 
There's some armor that you need he he knocks like toes and whatever to to upgrade, so. That's a nice bow. Let me see. Uh we actually already have really good bows, but I guess I could drop this one. Knight's bow is slightly better. Yeah. Alright. Let's go up this tower, boys. I don't know if this tower is really meant to get before you do Zora's Domain. Seeing as it's raining and kinda hard to get to, but we're gonna try to get to it anyways. I think we'll be able to get up these cliffs because they're not too steep. And then we'll be able to just fly right back to where we were. I might even be able to do a, a bomb super jump, you know what I mean? Right back to where we were. Ooh, that's a luminous... That's a lot of luminous stones. Alright, let's go get those real quick. Oh. That is a Poe in this game apparently I, I don't know I didn't realize those were pose at first I always thought they were just wizards but I guess those are pose um, look at all this stuff that pose gonna fight me isn't isn't I, they probably have a lot of health too Ice rod! Ice rod! Look at that. <laughs> Ouch, that almost killed me. I knew that was risky, but... The stupid skeleton over there, too, is really annoying. Stop shooting me! Oh, thank you for hitting this stuff closer to me. How am I not hitting this stupid head? All right, sir, you are getting out of hand. Bye-bye. I'll take your weapon. Thank you. Now, where was I before I was so rudely interrupted? Oh, yes. Look at all this ore, guys. Oh, my goodness, there's so much ore over here. These key swings. Forgot we killed a couple bats in the middle of that combat sequence. Whoa, it just turned blue. Oh, I don't have my sledgehammer anymore. Ah, gonna have to use this uh, claymore, I guess. Oh, yeah. That's what we want. Whoa, what's that? A silver boy. He not. There's some more silver boys, but I don't see any treasure, so I feel like it's not even worth my time. This, however... I'm actually pretty close to getting up there. It's about to stop raining because we're a little bit away from Zora's domain, so maybe... Maybe I can actually get up here. Oh, come on, Link. Alright, let's try to go around. Up here? There we go. Oh, all that for a rock saw. Oh, well. Oh. Alright. Let's see. I should be able to get up right here. Yes! Woo! We made it! Lanero Tower, guys. We made it! We made it. Oh, that's why. You could easily get to the tower from that platform. That's right. We got here, guys. What is this? Tower number six? I think. 
Oh yeah, man. Ah, oh, another tower. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. I got caramel iced coffee today. Hmm. What are you guys sipping on? Isn't that weird that I can't summon Wolf Link in the Zoro's domain area? Like, what is with that? That's kind of lame. Oh no. I meant to jump diagonally. My bad. Uh, yeah, we are going to go that way eventually. I'm gonna try to super jump off of this tower towards uh, Zoro's domain. Or at least towards the path where we were so we could skip some of that time. I've been pretty successful at using the bomb jump, so hopefully I'll be able to do it. That was close. Alright, two more... Two more little journeys, and we are at the top of the tower, boys. Still so much to do. Look, there's three towers in the distance on the right. I see two shrines. There's so much to do in this game. We have barely got started. Oh, there we go. Whew, tiring. I cannot wait for Breath of the Wild 2 as well, guys. I can't wait. It's going to be a direct sequel. So I read this is directly from the developers of Breath of the Wild. The reason they started making Breath of the Wild 2 was because originally they were planning on making more DLC for Breath of the Wild. But they had so many ideas and so many good ideas, so many things they wanted to do in Breath of the Wild that it was too much for DLC. And they just decided, you know what? We have so many good ideas. Let's just make a whole new game. Let's just make a sequel. So that alone gives me pretty hyped. The fact that they had so many good ideas. I can't wait to see what they are. And I can see why. I mean, this game is just the start of an amazing new flock of Zelda games. Just like Ocarina of Time was a start for a, ma a ton of 3D Zelda games. Really, all the way up to this game, most Zelda games, except for Wind Waker and the portable games, were pretty much designed after Ocarina of Time's core gameplay. You know? This is uh, the first big leap since then. So I imagine there's going to be a lot of new Zelda games that are going to be big open world like this. Hey, feels good. So now we can actually see Zora's domain on the map. That's kind of why I wanted to get the tower first, because then we can see the pathways and everywhere where we have to go and whatnot. And this is our last taste of sunshine before we go to Zora's Domain, so let's soak it in. Ah, feels good. Get that vitamin C. Ah, sometimes it feels really good to just sit and get some sun sunshine, right? All right, now... We are off. Look at all the rain above Zora, Zora's domain. It's just torrential downpour. All right. And we even have a launch node right here, which is perfect. This is actually exactly where I want to go, I think. Yep. So I'm going to just aim for up the river, somewhere up there, and, and we'll see where we land, all right? Sometimes it takes a couple tries to get this, so let's see. Yep. Make sure I'm lined up again. Come on, Link. You could do it. I know you could do it. There we go. I'm a little far away. That wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> We're just gonna warp back. <laughs> I think you actually have to have a little bit of stamina to before you do the launch. Otherwise, it'll just kill you because you can't fly with no stamina. I think I did it. I just didn't have enough stamina. And the reason I let the stamina go down was because I was trying to get a little closer to the square bomb before I launched. Otherwise, it doesn't work well. So we don't have any more fairies, I bet. Let's just let's just check that. Do I have any fairies? I have one fairy left. Alright, cool. As long as I have one, that's that's basically all I want. Or all I need. And I'm sure we're gonna lose that fairy. Very sh very soon anyways. At the rate I'm going. Alright. 
right. That that little bump right there might mess us up, but. Come on, Link. Ugh. There we go. Alright. Here we go, boys. Oh, yeah. Shortcut. Short. Uh-oh. Froze the game. Ooh. I don't think we are supposed to be this far yet. Alright. Let's go up the way they intended, now that we're here. Let's go back up the river. Up the river path. So th this is exactly where we left off, basically. It looks like that guy respawned. Which is fine. Wow, the weapon is still there and everything. <laughs> wow, look at all those fish. Yep. There's so many. Oh my gosh, I feel like I must go get them, but I can't. I'm not going to blow them up just because I don't think I'll be able to survive jumping down there and swimming because I don't have enough stamina. But wow, that was a lot of fish. Alright, now we are on our way to Zoro's Domain, guys. I think we have enough time in the episode to get there if I'm, if I'm pretty quick and I don't die. Let's go. Got the tower. Feels good. Whoa, watch out for the rocks. Alright. I don't think this weapon is what I want equipped. There we go. Oh, hi. Put down the rock. Ow. How dare you lick me. I see hardy truffle. Hardy truffles are the best. Lizards are very perceptive on like picking up my movement and stuff, so I want to try to be a little bit quieter. Hardy radish. Oh, he's got a good weapon. We're gonna take it away from him. Thank you for that, sir. Oh yeah, we're making good progress. The hardest part is right up ahead where we... They all have like lightning arrows or shock arrows. Yeah, this part. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Alright, let's see if I can snipe this guy. See how he had shock arrows? They're super deadly when you're in the wet like this. A little bit of lag here. Put down the horn. Alright, now they know I'm here. That's fine. Let them shoot at me. That will just show me where they are. Normally I don't just sit here and snipe the enemies, but in this part you pretty much have to if you want to survive. Alright, I actually think we, are, we already killed like most of them. <laughs> that was a lot easier than it, than it was in the past. Like if you stand in the puddle and they shoot you, oh there's one. 
Holy cow, that was a perfect headshot. I can't believe I hit that. I'm looking for the loot. That should have been a headshot. Now I've killed them all. Alright, let's grab the loot real quick. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be on Master Mode. I guess if you snipe them, I mean, if you've never played the game before and you walk into this area, you probably die because the shock arrows are overwhelming. They come from like every direction, it feels like. I definitely made it look easy if I say so myself. Alright, let's break some of these. Get all the loot that we can here while we're here. I want to see if I can summon Wolf Link again. That was crazy. Ah, it worked this time. We got Zumwar, guys. Zumwar's here. Alright. That will actually help a lot, because they'll shoot at him and not me. Oh, and a chest right there. I didn't even notice. Shock arrows, I bet? Nope, just a junkie bow. Alright. I did see another lizard uh, somewhere up here. Let's see. I don't see him anymore. Ah, oh, there he is. Oh, hi. This is a strong one here. Look at that. He threw the spear. Wow, that one was strong. Really strong. There's a campfire spot right there and also one right here. Ooh. And some roasted bass. Some roasted bass. Amber. Good job, Wolf Link. You did good. While we're sitting here, um, let's throw some meat on the fire real quick. Shall we? Just to uh, cook up some more meat for food. Actually, I'm going to eat one of those. Let's continue on up the trail, guys. Uh, let's see. I need to go this way. Oh, yeah. We're making good progress. I think that part that I just did was probably the hardest part. So, Frog? Hey! Oh, it's Sidon again. Time to take another sip of coffee. <laughs> I didn't even need your potion of electricity resistance. Sorry for calling from so far away. Stop saying sorry every time you talk to me. The domain is still a ways off, but you're making good progress. I shall be along soon myself. I won't be much longer. In the meantime, I'll be cheering you on from here in the river, so hang in there. Wow. Or you could, I don't know, help me, like, get to Zara's domain, like, help me fight. You can do it. Stay strong. I'm assuming you're a pretty awesome Zora warrior. I would love to see Sidon fight, wouldn't you guys? That would be amazing if he, like, fought with you. Oh, hi. At least I'm getting a lot of arrows in this place, so...
Wow, I just picked up that rock on accident and there was an amber underneath it. Dude, look at that eyeball. Isn't that so much bigger than the bat itself? How'd the eye get so big? Wish I had a bomb arrow. I guess I do have actual bombs. Uh-oh, we have lightning. Oh, it's my bow. <laughs> well, that worked. I imagine Wolf Link was ready to go, but one bomb did the trick. Look at all these. All right. We are making such good progress. I've never done this part this fast. Oh. All right, that's three lizards. Oh. Whoa, what have we here? Some, uh, some bomb barrels. Can I roll these downhill? I bet you you can. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Alright, he's gonna go investigate. Whoa, look how fast he went. Let's try again. This, this time maybe like right here. Oh, that was so close. How far my bomb went? I'm just trying to damage them so they don't re regenerate. Good job, Wolfling, finishing that dude. That's what I'm talking about. Good teamwork, man. Who you see, boy? Who you see? Some more up there? Let me grab that steak real quick. Watch out, Wolfie. Wolf Link is really useful in Master Verb mode because he stops the people from regenerating their health. Even though he doesn't do a lot of damage, that alone is so important. The, the ability to stop health from regenerating just by hitting him a little bit. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a treasure chest right there. Oh yeah, and I forgot I, I also uh, can't climb very easily. What is this, an opal? Okay, five arrows. Still worth, right? Still worth. Oh boy, they're coming at me. I'm not in my natural element. Let me get out of the water here. I don't want to fight the lizards in the water, you know what I mean? That would be a bad idea. Look at that, they're swimming back. Oh, here we go again. Sidon checking up on us, just like a good dad. Hey, Link, you're almost halfway to Zora's Domain. Oh, by the way, there's a few spots up ahead with lots of enemies, but I'm sure you'll be fine. I believe in you, Link. I'll just keep watching. And cheering, like a cheerleader. Heh <laughs> I don't think he's coming back. He's gone. Ooh, there's a flint under that rock. Alright, what are all these stones up here for? Like, can I launch these anywhere? Whenever there's stones, I always feel like I can launch them, you know what I mean? Wolf Link. He's like shaking off the water. Uh oh.
Oh yeah, we are definitely getting to Zoro's Domain, guys. Oh! That was a big rock right there. Can we push it back? Right back at you. Uh, quickly, Wolfling, quickly. Ooh. Gotta be faster than that. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. He didn't see us. Wow, that was a horrible shot. Get wrecked. Hey, look, it's a Korok leaf. I've been actually wanting to find a Korok leaf because it goes hand in hand with the ice rod. So let's let's just get rid of the spear. You can easily freeze people, then and then well you'll see. You'll see. If I if I see the opportunity, I will show you guys what I'm talking about. Look at that man, I'm gonna pick up rocks more often. That's almost always a reward. You saw nothing. Alright. We got three guys up there, one of which is a black lizard, which is the hardest type. Wolflink, where are you? Attack anytime you're ready, bud. Oh gosh. He one shot me. He one shot me. He came out of nowhere and he one shot me. That's what we do to you. And then we finish this one. Wolflink, thank you. <laughs> Wolf like no, don't break him. I kind of want to keep him froze. Man, that was a hard one. Alright, now that he's dead, I'm not too worried. That's a nice weapon. That is a nice weapon. That's actually a nice shield too. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that was a little bit better. All right, guys, we found our first uh, Zora lore thing. History of the Zora, part one. The eternal Zora's domain, as told by King Dorifon. Dorifon. The rains have blessed Laneru since ancient times with an abundance of pure, clean water. Seeking a bounty of such water, the Zora gathered there. Thus, as the legends go, the domain was born 10,000 years ago. The land was also rich in ore, and so a unique form of stonemasonry was developed to create our new home. The domain is one giant sculpture, a feat of architecture that has drawn admirers the world over. Our great domain will ever stand as a hallmark of the esteemed artist who made it, an eternal symbol of Zora pride. See a couple more, boy? Let's go get them. Oh! That is why shock arrows are deadly. If you're not careful, now I will drink that. You can get shocked to death. 
And it also drops your weapons, which is very annoying. Where is he going? Wolf Link ain't having it. Oh, he's going to his big boss. That's all right. I'm not scared. But that felt good. You're still alive? Oh, Wolfling, that was savage. Nice kill. Wow, we messed this entire camp up, man. I'm making this look easy. We are just destroying these guys. I like the boomerang, but that's a nice weapon here. Let's see what I mean? Um, no, I think we're pretty much good on everything. Let's grab the chest. Take it. Alright, alright. Looking good, looking good. One more box over here. Some roasted bass. Another amber under that rock. And, uh, yeah. What are, I think we're going this way, right? Yeah, this... Oops. Gosh dang it, those spikes are actually effective. <laughs> oh, man. We're back down to where we uh, where we started. <sighs> I'm lucky that shock arrow didn't kill me, to be honest. Secret over here. Ugh, I hate it when I run out of stamina. He fell down. Come on up here. <laughs> He's still alive. What? Well, I guess we'll let him live after he survived all that, right? Every stone has something under it. Almost. Look at that. Alright, surely we are getting pretty close to Zoro's domain now. Actually, that one has a chest on it. How do I get to that chest? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is a leap of faith, guys. That's a save the game type of leap of faith. If I don't make it, I reload the game. <laughs> to find a secret on accident. Let's try that again. Try that again. Surely you could get this. Uh, he didn't jump! Are you... He didn't jump. He didn't jump. I pressed the button. He didn't jump. Probably because I fell off before I jumped. But we're still going to blame it on Link. <laughs> Alright. This time, for sure. 
he doesn't run, uh, oh my gosh he doesn't run and jump very easily right here so let's do this there we go I had to run like along the, the rail first Ooh, a frost spear oh my goodness that is one of the coolest weapons in the game uh yeah I have a lot of really good weapons right now honestly the frost spear is better than this Oh my goodness, look at that spear. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. I was gonna say, isn't there a cutscene on this bridge? Hey, Link! Look below, down here! Oh man, there's a Korok circle down there too. You're still pretty far off, my friend, but I was sure you'd be passing over this bridge, so I've been waiting for you. Stop telling me I'm so far, you're like killing my spirits. You'll be in Zora's domain before you know it. In fact, I'm gonna head that way to you. Said that like 15 times. Whoa, Link! Beware, warrior! A monster approaches from behind you! Oh, hi. Lol. <laughs> Do you guys see why the frost spear is insanely effective now? Where is my wolf? I'm blue wolf like Alright. When he says we're still far away from Zoro's domain, he's kidding. We're actually not that far. We're already through the worst of it. In fact, I don't think we have to fight that many enemies from now on. Getting by all those lizards is the hardest part, and we already did that, so... As far as I remember. There was some secrets. I know you could get the Korok. There's also, like, history of the Zora around, if you look around. There's also uh, uh, ore, if you look around. That's why I'm kind of looking around for ore more than anything else. The Koroks and history are nice, but... The ore is money. Alright, I don't see any ore. We're good. Got a couple random, uh... We are actually very close to Zoro's Domain, guys. Dang, I can't believe we finally got Zoro's Domain. Like, most people, when they leave the Great Plateau, the first thing they do pretty much is go to Zoro's Domain. Oh, a lightning pole. Of course there's a lightning po. We're gonna freeze him if we can. That's a really good weapon too. Sorry. Dang, we have we have way too many weapons that are good. Wow. I already have a thunderstorm rod. That's a lot of magical equipment. I guess I'm gonna drop the Korok leaf. Even though it's... Alright, a lightning rod's not as good as a thunderstorm rod, but it's still pretty good. Probably shouldn't waste durability, just... Yeah. Actually, it doesn't really matter. I have so many amiibos, guys. I have 24 amiibos that work in this game. If I want more weapons, I mean, I could easily get more weapons, so... Let's just do what we want to do. I'm getting rich on arrows. 
And you guys see, I use arrows quite often. Almost every single time I'm fighting, I use arrows. When I started this, I had like 50. Now I have 142. Wait a minute. Gosh, this is such a windy road. Alright, we need to go this way. Now we have, what, 143 arrows? I mean, not even buying any, just killing enemies. History of the Zora, Addendum 1, King Dorofan stands his ground. Around 100 years after King Dorofan ascended to the throne, a stray guardian crossed upland Zorana into our domain. The guardian seemed unstoppable. Our best soldier's spears barely left a scratch on its metal hull. It was then that our King Dorofan, without... A thought for his own safety came out to face the Guardian himself. With supernatural strength, he lifted the Guardian and hurled it into a ravine. The impact of the fall left the Guardian in pieces, and it was never to trouble another Zora ever again. The citizens celebrated the King's valor. From then on, the, their trust and respect for him grew beyond compare. You can still see the scar he earned that day on his forehead, a token of his triumph. So it hit him in the face and gave him a scar, but he managed to throw it. Pretty cool. That's what a good king does, you know? He goes and defends his people with his own life. Ooh, a cold darner. That's probably what I missed earlier. These hardy radishes are going to be insanely useful. What's up here? Hey! Well, there's a Korok. I probably missed like four along the way, but it's alright. Got one. Guys, I bet you from here, yep, there it is. That's Zora's Domain. You can't see it very good, but it's there. And look, that is Divine Beast Varuta, the elephant boss. That's how close we are, guys. Let's take the path down. To enter Zora's domain for the first time, properly, as one would, if you were just taking the mountain pass. Ooh, we got a big boy. Wolf, come on, there you go. Hi, big guy. Wolf, you want to finish him? Come on, Zamor. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you did. Too late. That's actually a good spear, but like I said, we have so many good weapons right now. It's ridiculous. And like I said, uh, we pretty much already went through the hardest part. All those lightning shooting lizards. Now all we have to do is kill a couple of big guys and we're basically in Zoro's domain. A pretty cool shot of the bridge right there. Man, I wish I had more stamina so I could actually do more bullet time. Oh man, we made it guys. Zora's Domain. Check it out. That giant statue thing is one big sculpture. Created 10,000 years ago by Zora using the ore from this area and the pure water or whatever. Pretty cool. There's actually a lot of other uh, history of the Zoras. Like a lot of them. We're so close now that we can actually detect the shrine. But I'm going to turn that off because it's kind of annoying. We are so close. Look at this, guys. We made it. We made it. Feels good, man. Feels really good.
<laughs> I'm doing the fast run to get through here. We made it. Zora's Domain. And with five minutes to spare, we got the tower and we got to Zora's Domain. There's a shrine in here. Let's see if we have enough time to do the shrine. I think we do. Huh. And then, uh, then we'll be able to warp. Whoa! Mike, okay. hey, what's up? I've been waiting for you, Link. Welcome. Behold, the pride of my people, Zora's Domain. Now, I shall introduce you to the king. Hurry this way. All in good time, my friend. All in good time. First, I'm gonna mingle with the locals, if you know what I mean. Wolf Link must have returned to his own world. Look at Leto. He's still sculpting Zora's domain. That's cool. Oh my gosh! It's a little kid, Zora. He looks so cool. <laughs> Good day. Um, who are you? I'm a Hylian. <laughs> Doesn't even respond with his name. Responds with his race. Oh. So if you're a Hylian, did you come from far away? I ask because my... Oh, never mind. My dad told me not to talk to strangers. Smart kid. The damage is minimal. Oh man, it's Mipha. We're gonna get to Mipha in a minute, but... But first, we have shrines to do. We have crystal crabs, bright-eyed crabs. Oh, they replenish stamina. Ooh, that's a dope looking sword. Gosh, I have so many magic weapons right now. You know what, guardian sword? Actually, I think I'm going to drop the ice rod because I already have an ice spear. I know it sounds like absolutely insane, but this sword is beautiful. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? We, we want this sword more than I want the ice rod. Mostly for looks. All right, guys, let's see if I can do this shrine. I got a few minutes. Hopefully... I don't remember if this is a hard shrine or not. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have gotten into this before the end of the episode, but we're gonna we're gonna finish this episode with a bang. We do the tower, we did the epic journey all the way to Zoro's domain, which we timed perfectly for the 20th episode because I knew we would need an hour just to get through it. And we'll finish it off with the shrine. Oh, it's this one. All right, I know how to do this one. It might take a few minutes though. So. All right. This one's not terrible. Next episode, I need to remember to go... Oh, hi. Oh. I need to remember to go to Hateno Village. Let's not die on a shrine that doesn't even have any real enemies. Because Hateno, I, I need to update... Upgrade my stasis. Then we can freeze enemies. The shrine's actually pretty cool. Alright. Alright, we're here. There is a chest up there. That's alright. So what we can do is we can push. We need to get this orb all the way to the bottom, which there's a lot of different ways you can do it. The way that Zumor did it on his, I'll always remember, I never thought to do things the way that he did it sometimes. Yeah, it's gonna get messed up. I forgot. We need an ice block down there. Hold on. We need an ice block, like, somewhere about right there. But before we do that... Are you kidding me? Are you... Please don't start me at the bottom. Oh, thank you. Wow. This game is actually generous. Alright, fine. I'll do it this way. Let's just go get that chest real quick. Probably one of the easiest chests you can get in a shrine. Oh, okay. It's just a Zora Spear. Unfortunately, I do have to loot it, so... Uh, because I, I don't want to have a chest showing. 
Let's drop that for a second. Hopefully it doesn't slide down. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Zora Spear looked cool and everything. Oh, it's sliding. No! No! Alright, we'll pick that up at the bottom. Oh, come, come, whoa. Oh, come on, Link. Yeah, ah, okay. Sometimes, you know, Link has limits, and, uh, that was, that was a limit. Another way, you could just push it to the side, but... Let's quickly go down here so we can see what's going on. That might actually stop it. Nope. It's carrying momentum. Might want to stop it here just in case it like rolls off. Uh, push it a little bit. There we go. I don't want it to get pushed off. Let's pick up our sword. All right, stop, 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 stop. Whew. I think we could just push it over there now. Okay. We have to be very gentle about this. You know what? I might I might just do one. <laughs> That's how gentle I want to do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. We did it. We did it. A couple minutes over the, the one hour, but I, I don't think you guys mind, right? It was definitely worth We got the Zora's Domain Shrine! Now we can teleport to Zora's Domain. We can just teleport out of here and teleport back so we don't have to worry about that epic journey again. You only gotta do that once. It was epic, but I don't want to do it again. <laughs> oh man. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I am. Uh, I've, I can't wait to do the other areas as well. There's so many awesome places to go in this game. So many things that I want to do. And we're gonna try to do everything. I'm not in a rush. Not until Breath of the Wild 2 comes out. Although, if I finish this game way ahead of time, which I don't know if I will, because we don't know when Breath of the Wild 2 is going to come out yet. And for somebody watching this in the future, it may be, be already out, if you're watching this years from now. But, um, I can't wait till it's, like, not raining in Zara's Domain either. Oh, look at that. We got some arrows, some ice arrows. I, I, I guess I could buy these. I mean, I already have so many. <laughs> We're also going to get the Zora armor in here. Yo, it's actually our first Goron that we've seen. How you doing, buddy? Oh, hey, you're Hylian, aren't you? It's rare to see your kind around here. <laughs> As for me, I was roaming nearby during my travels when Prince Sidon recruited me and brought me here. That's because I can touch shock arrows, but I also weigh, well, a lot. There's no way I'll be able to carry you on my back. That's what Prince Sidon said to me. That was kind of rude of him, wasn't it? Wait, he could have carried me on his back and just swam up the waterfalls? I wouldn't have to fight any of those guys? Maybe he just wanted to test me and see if I could get, get here on my own, you know what I mean? Alright guys, I'm going to go rest in the inn. And that's going to be where I'm going to end this episode. And then probably I'm going to do some cooking in the next episode because we have a ton of uh, fish and stuff that we could be cooking with. Hello, welcome to the Seabed Inn. Wait, it can't be. You're, you're Master Link from a hundred years ago. <coughs> uh, sorry, uh, back to where I, back to work I go. We're always happy to provide some sleep to weary travelers. Would you like to rest here? Yeah, let's do the uh, blissful waterbed until morning. Thank you guys for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed. Oh my! And we have. We, I went to bed after an epic journey and I wake up. Blood Moon! All enemies have respawned! The army of, Ga of Ganon is attacking! <laughs> oh man, I just thought I was getting a peaceful rest sleep. Ooh, three extra hearts. Thank you, I did enjoy that blissful water bed. It was actually really bouncy. 
All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the one-hour special. Take it easy. This is Lucian Sword.